UFC 281 co-main event, Michael Chandler versus Dustin Poirier, the long-awaited grudge match. What are your initial thoughts? What are you what are you thinking? Uh some would say <clears throat> this is the people's main event. But those some would be stupid. Okay, first of all, <laughs> let's let's just go ahead and get that out the way. Um my my thoughts is it's uh it's giving me that feeling of Gaethje versus Chandler. It's gonna be one of them. I, I I'm assuming, except Poirier, Poirier got them nukes in his hand, boy. <laughs> he he he's gonna hit a little bit harder, and it's gonna be a little bit sturdy. I think it's gonna be uh like that Poirier and a uh, I mean that um Chandler Gaethje fight was was action packed, but I feel like it's gonna be a lot more like standing and trading. That's what I feel like, unless Chandler because. Both uh Poirier and I mean both uh Gaethje and Chandler had that that wrestling aspect to their game, so it kind of like they were always thinking about shooting or whatever. It, it had that feel to it. So I'm wondering if the only person that's really going to be shooting, I'm assuming, is going to be Chandler here. And if not, I think that they they might sit there and box. And if they do, that would be lovely, lovely. I think uh, to your point, it's going to be interesting because you have two people that are kind of ready to duke it out, especially right. um, they're both like high output guys. They both are going to get in there and get in the mix, not be scared to go toe, toe for toe or toe to toe. Mm-hmm. Um, I did think about the wrestling because that's not really a part of Dustin's game. So if he got taken down, which – it, it's a little bit different, right? You have the classes mm-hmm. of wrestlers that are really going to make it dangerous if they take mm-hmm. you down. Um, so I don't know how much that'll that'll affect uh, the fight. And we've seen Dustin Poirier in the past fight wrestlers. And it's dangerous because he got the darts in his arsenal and he got the, yeah. the he got the guillotine in his arsenal. So yeah. hey, if you go for that takedown, you, you might get something that you weren't looking to get. Um, but... I'm super excited because it definitely has that that Gaethje, that Gaethje uh, uh, Chandler feel. What I think might be different about this fight than that fight, though, is I think because Chandler is so, like, dead set on getting this championship belt and he's already gone through a fight like that, I think he might be more strategic in the sense of he's really just trying to go out there and win the fight. That way he could be primed for a title belt. Um, so I think he he on his end might be a little more calculated in that regard. And then of course you have uh Dustin Poirier, who ultimately, like, what's he fighting for, right? At this point, he might be fighting just to fight. Like he's had his title opportunities, he's had the the McGregor trilogy now. So it's like, what else does this guy have to fight for except for his love to fight? So there might not be that same hunger. But either mm-hmm. way, we know one thing about Dustin Poirier, especially after a year-long layoff, he going to go in there and try and tango with you. So um, I know you said some might say this is the, the people's main event. Hey, mm-hmm. I guess I'll be a casual in that sense because I'm. This is this is kind of what I'm feeling. I'm, I want to see the fireworks and and although the other fight, the main fight on this card, I do expect some fireworks. I'm very excited about this one, my man. I can't even hold you. Yeah, no, no, I I am excited as well. Um, <clears throat> I think. I think Poirier is at that stage where the he is going to be looking for like super fights, things like that. Um, but being that he hasn't fought Islam yet, he goes out here, makes a statement. He might just need, you know, another he might need another statement in order to get back into that uh, that picture. Um, that's that was the the good thing about Islam beating Oliveira is it kind of like resets because Islam, the the same thing that people are using as a negative on Islam is what's going to make his championship run um, a little bit special in the sense that they say he hasn't fought anybody. So which means everybody in like the top seven he hasn't faced, so they all can come and get get a chance um, outside of a hooker um, who he already, you know, dealt with. And yeah, but who doesn't need to be fighting for a a belt anyways. No, he's probably he's probably not making it back. So I'm glad we already got that. So but 
yeah, since he hasn't fought any of them, I mean, everybody has a has a chance to get back in there. Um, but I do I I like the idea of Poirier um kind of taking a step back from like a title run and then taking like some more interesting fights because his like like he is he's one of those guys that his style of fighting it, it it's uh very uh fan friendly. So you could just match him up with anybody from 155 to 170 and it's like okay, as long as it's not like a Chimaev it's like, I want to see that. Even if it's Kamaru, I want to see that. Leon Edwards, I want to see that. Masvidal and him are boys, so that's probably not going to happen. But I would want to see that if they weren't boys because they both box. So there's just a lot. Or or even him, actually, him versus like a Darren Till, I would want to see that. So, yeah, there's just a lot, of, a lot of options for Poirier, especially if he wins this. It's Yeah, it's wide open for him, I believe. Yeah, I'm... You bring up some interesting points. Um, maybe, maybe he does. I mean, too, the thing is, he's not all that old, right? He still mm-hmm. has a lot of shelf life as a fighter. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd be interested in seeing him get in there and fight some of those other people as well. I think what gives him a little bit of an edge, um, or maybe a, a a noticeable edge in this fight, which I think is kind of a similar situation for Gaethje when he faced Chandler, is that, um. The, the the seasoned fighting resume in the UFC. Mm-hmm. Now we know Bellator is Bellator. I'm not going to say mm-hmm. there aren't people that can't compete over there, but the UFC is the major leagues. That's why Chandler came over, and that's why he wants to mm-hmm. prove that, you know, he's the best of the best at 155. Um, but I think, personally, Dustin Poirier has been in there with – the best of the best like yeah he's, he's one of the people that are still actively fighting that could say they fought Khabib right which is to dispel uh that's going to be interesting fight between if they if they end up do fighting between Poirier and uh and um uh the champion drawing a blank Islam uh, Islam I already talked to yeah. you <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> No, no disrespect to my man, the diamond, because diamonds are forever. And I do love the way he fights and the type of person he is, or at least the type of person he represents. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go on the site at some point and get some of this hot sauce. So let's not, let's not act like we don't like the man, but right. the, the thing with the wrestling, the Sambo is just looking like it's the almighty and it's the, it's the end all be all. So I don't know, but all I'm saying though, is that. This man Poirier is very seasoned. He has a lot mm-hmm. of fighters under his belt. I mean, say say what you want, man. Connor is still Connor, right? Connor, Connor. We'll see, we'll see when he comes back. But Connor, exactly. When Poirier fought him, was still a dangerous fighter both times, right? So or right. the 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 latter two, the, the the two he won. Um. So I say that to say. You don't have to give a prediction right now if you still got stuff you need to get off your chest, but I'm going to let yeah, you know yeah. right now. Uh-oh. Although I think Chandler is the hungrier fighter, mm-hmm. edge, slight edge, because I know Poirier has been dying to fight. Although mm-hmm. it's a grudge match, although Chandler has the wrestling advantage, I'm, I'm going to be real, man. I think Poirier is two seasons, mm-hmm. and I just personally don't want to see him lose. Especially because, especially because Chandler has been losing. He ain't he ain't been fighting people that have been winning. Right, He's been losing. Right. Um, and I I do think it it, it might be better for the UFC if Chandler wins, mm-hmm. just because he's a fresh face. We could see him get the title shot and all that good stuff. I I can't go against my man the Diamond. So you know what I'm yeah. saying. I'm, I'm gonna have to take the the guy from Louisiana. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, um. Yeah, I'm going to wait to give all predictions until a little before the fight. Let's just say mm, that, a little before okay. the fight. Okay. Yeah, we'll have that. We'll have that out before the fight. Thanks for watching Certified Jesters. If you like the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss a post.